for silver to go up to the towards 50 and and i think over 50 there needs to be a mania the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. We're now down 43%. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Protect your retirement with gold and silver IRAs. Learn more at sdbullion.com slash IRA. What's up, YouTube? Silver Dragons here. Today, I'm so excited to be joined once again by Lior Gantz, the founder of Wealth Research Group. Lior, how are you doing today? Doing well. And... Before you ask, this is my daughter's headphone. <laughs> yeah, the, the pink headphones. Uh, they look great. <laughs> um, Thank you. And also, uh, I think a lot of the listeners already know you live in Israel, and mm -hmm. uh, you're safe where you are and everything, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay, okay good. Um, okay, so let's get into the metals, silver and gold, what the Fed's doing. I mean, hey, inflation report came out, looked mm -hmm. pretty decent. Are you thinking no more rate hikes? Is that kind of what's going on? Yeah, I think that the three big things have happened. The, on the 3rd of November, you had the FOMC meeting. Um, in that meeting, uh, the, the tone changed from um, we have an inflation problem and a jobs market problem to I think we have uh, a situation here that's getting solved. And in fact, if I balance out the risks, the risk of uh, over tightening is uh, the same as not tightening enough. So in other words, they have moved into a very neutral position. Um, and, and that was that was good of them to acknowledge that, hey, you know, now th the risk of us doing too much and that we don't appreciate how much the leg effect can be uh, problematic here because interest rates have risen so much. Um, so now we want to balance it out and we want to wait and see. Now, when, when the Fed waits and sees, uh, the world goes on. So more data is coming in, and it shows them that, hey, um, this this may be a good time to, to start considering uh, the other side of this, which is uh, to start to relax interest rates just, just a tad. So uh, interest rates right now are 525. You can relax them down to 450, uh, which is uh, right around the historical average of the 10-year bond, um, and that will be – uh better so i think that uh in general that that's the fomc meeting uh and that was good then uh we had inflation data come in month over month 0.1 now what does that mean it's not it doesn't mean that inflation is is um gone because things are very expensive but it means that it's not getting more expensive and that's a good um and that's a good start so um so that further you know, put a stamp on that no more rate hikes. And then the jobs report came in um, and it was soft. So it, it showed people are starting to look for work. They're back in the workforce. And it's not uh, it's not like it's 100 percent easy to find work. Um, so it, it shows you we're more in balance. This is a more normal economy. Now the risks are really that if you leave uh, uh, interest rates here for too long, then there, it may become mass layoffs or shrinking margins or, or who knows. Uh, and so, yeah, the market seems to believe right now, the futures uh, probabilities seem to believe that that the May meeting will have the first rate cut. Um, it, 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 it was all the way up to July. So it's coming back towards May. And that's why you see gold going and, and creeping up towards the 2000 here. Uh, what we have is good for gold, but not amazing for gold. It's just it's good for gold. The rates are going to uh, come back down, um, and 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 financial conditions will, will ease. When financial condition ease, gold prices go up. Recession is when uh, gold prices really surge, and uh, other sectors of the economy, stocks, etc., real estate, uh, go south. So we're not there. And that's why I'm saying don't expect gold right now to explode, but certainly uh, look for it to continue to appreciate here. Absolutely. You know, if gold goes up 10%, we're easily all time high and above. Where mm -hmm. does silver go? I mean, silver kind of usually follows gold, but it moves faster. So silver right now is only like 24 bucks an ounce, basically half of its yeah. all time high. Where does silver mm -hmm. go if gold goes up 10%? What do you think? Uh, around 40 to 50. So between 32 and 35 an ounce. 
Wow. So we could really, so we could see 35 announced next year. Yeah. But I, I would just say, I, I can, I, I see you, you know, I can hear the excitement, but my point to tell you is next year is not a year to be excited about the precious metals, uh, physical. This, that next year is an opportunity to take all of this knowledge that you have of the industry and leverage it. The, next year is the year to use this to your advantage fully. And fully means um, that you have to go to the side of the spectrum that offers the most upside potential. And those are the, the asset classes that have a high beta. So the underlying commodity is fine, but there are uh, asset classes that, that can double, triple, quadruple uh, for you in a matter of months. So just think about that uh, when you structure your strategy for next year. In okay. 2008, when there was the um, 2008 financial crisis and, and you know silver and gold went down initially, they didn't peak until three plus years later, right? And with okay. the COVID recession, we saw gold and silver go down initially, definitely silver, and they've come a yeah. long way. But is yeah. next year, is it the big year? I mean, is this 2024 going to be when we really see things take off, or is it still another year out? For silver to go up to the uh, towards 50 and, and I think over 50, um, uh, it, there needs to be a mania. And I just, I don't see it right now. So uh, I don't think it's in 2024. I, I, I think um, it will take uh, longer. If you, if you look at where we're heading into in the next two years, um, as rates start to come down and normalize, um, uh, there will be a boom in real estate and if you remember the last boom in real estate in the 2000s, in the early 2000s, it, the, the the stock market legged and gold and silver really flourished. Well, it looks like even though silver may go up quite a bit next year, it still could be another accumulation year waiting for the mania. And, um, you know, when silver does take off, it could do incredible things. So um, if we do go into a recession, though, you mentioned gold could do much, much better if that does happen next year, you think potentially we could see gold and silver take off even more? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I do, but I don't, but but I don't think that that uh, that we will have a recession. Yeah, the the U.S. economy is doing uh, very well. Hey, I, I really appreciate the time, all of your knowledge and wisdom. Uh, if people want to learn more about what you do, um, where could they find you? Uh, wealthresearchgroup.com is is the website. And the best way to follow is to subscribe to the free newsletter. Um, it's going on. It's uh, it's going to be our eighth year. Awesome. I am a subscriber myself, and I always enjoy getting the um, emails. You. And uh, once again, thank you for your time. And um, I'm excited to have you on again in the future. Thank you very much. And shalom.